the cuff. The end of Carolina, off the cuff. A totally new concept. Off the cuff. Music, off. Madness, the, and more. Cuff, off the cuff. Off, off the, the cuff. cuff. Tonight on Off the Cuff, Carolina. Brian Good, ex-student body president, recent gulag returnee. Swoozy Maroon, double agent or a loyal Carolina fan. Trenton Locke, Dookie. Hoops Malone, Dookie. Watch them all tonight on Off the Cuff. 1987, Carolina fell to the great eastern power, Duke University. Through a pair of insidious plots, Dukies were able to undermine the morale of Carolina students, allowing Duke to infiltrate and absorb Chapel Hill. Through superior economic resources, Dukies were able to cut off the flow of beer to Chapel Hill. And even more devious, a team of Duke engineering students sneaked into the sack and soundproofed it, thus inciting rumors of student apathy. Student body president Brian Good was incarcerated, sent to be reprogrammed in the Carmichael Gulag. It is now 1997. Brian Good emerges into the new Carolina. Vietnam, a nation at war with itself. America, a nation divided, a nation humiliated. Now you can relive the great battles. You decide the outcomes with a Vietnam War chess set. You get to win this time? This time, it's up to you. Each piece is carefully hand-painted, the north in silver, the south in gray. Each piece is an exquisite sculpture of an important figure in the war. The king and queen for the south, Dick and Pat Nixon. For the north, Ho Chi Minh and Jane Fonda. This chess set is durable, able to withstand your biggest battles. If you order now, you will also receive a home napalm kit, yours to keep absolutely free, even if you return the Vietnam War chess set. Order yours today. I've received several reports from our secret police that our appointed leaders at Carolina are being closet Tar Heels, uh, excuse me, Tar Holes. Impossible. Those leaders were handpicked from the most elite areas of New Jersey. I myself was part of the selection committee. Nevertheless, they've been seen by our police cheering on the Tar Holes. I thought you had the situation under control. You should have let us invade Carolina. And then they'd have known the true meaning of agricultural supremacy. You tried that once, remember? You failed miserably. Our tractors ran out of gas, that's all. Could have happened to anyone. Just a slight miscalculation. Tractors, heh! <laughs> BMWs, that's the future. But a BMW can't pull a plow. They don't intend to farm for a living, comrade. Menial task are for those who are not joisy. Enough. Don't be upset with their insults. Forgive them. Tractors are quite all right as long as you spell them with a K. We need to get on with the problem. We must break the spirit of Carolina. But how? How about a $200 meal plan? Mm. Boring. And the end to outside party events. Mm. Been done. Tell me, what is the one thing that promotes tar hole? I mean, tar hole ism. Basketball. Exactly. All we need to do is turn their team into losers to make sure they are unable to win any future games. We'll kidnap the coach. That's spelled with a K. I know, I know already, we'll capture Dean Smith. <laughs> kidnap him, yeah. Yes, yes, we'll kidnap him and replace him with... Jim Valvano. <laughs> I don't understand. What's so funny? <laughs> TV's point of view. Why don't you get with oh, no, it? It's more gummy bears. And now here with the news is Hegemony Cricket. For What's News, I'm Hegemony Cricket. It was once a dark secret, but What's News has shed some light where the sun for the past 20 years has not shown. 
Through probing investigative reporting, STV has learned newly appointed presidential chief of staff, Howard Baker, is none other than the blood brother of TV evangelist, Jim Baker. During the Nixon years, nearly everyone on Capitol Hill had something to hide, but no one, not even Tricky Dick himself, could have topped this one. It's not so much that I didn't want to be associated with Jim and his beautiful wife, Tammy, said Baker in a recent press conference. As much as it was the fact that many of my closest advisors believed two K's in my name rather communist. And with all the hoopla lately about America with a K, ABC's exciting news event, they could have said that Baker made a wise choice. We'll be right back after this. Excuse me, miss. Hi, Why do you me? like silver lining bathroom tissue? Is it because it's softer than any other brand? Well, uh... Um, Is it because it's made by non-union clouds? Well, I never, um... Is it because all other brands suck out loud? I never used that brand of toilet paper before. Lady, this is not toilet paper. This is bathroom tissue. Well, I've never used that brand of bathroom tissue before. Well, would you like to try it? Um, okay, I suppose. Just sign right here. Okay, what is this? Oh, it's just a technicality, just a release form. Here is your silver lining bathroom tissue. Okay. No, no. The bathroom is this way. Would you care oh, for a This is fine. Accident? This is fine. No! Who do you think I am? Who are you? I'm not going to do gonna this. You're going to try this whether you no. like it or not. Come <laughs> on, oh, police, help! <laughs> Silver lining, the bathroom tissue that's ready, even when you're not. And now, sports in review with our own Puckett Fields. Did you say wet? Oh, boy, did I ever. Hi. This week's big story was the ACC men's swimming meet. You know I was there. All those shaved and tapered men just drive me wild. I don't think we won, but that's okay. Our guys look great. Some people have complained that my sports review are offensive. So I decided to show some women's sports tonight. Have you heard what's going on about the station? No. What? Our station manager mm -hmm. <clears throat> and our secretary. No. Yes. No. Yes. Well, you know, I wondered. I saw them going into the broom closet together <gasps> the other day. No. And I thought, well, maybe they're just getting a mop, but... <laughs> I don't think so. I think they were up to something I think else. they were doing a little cleaning of the... Their... <laughs> yeah, I think they were. Uh-huh. Man, you just don't know what you're... Oh, oh, um, that's all for tonight. Have a good evening. Back to you, Hegemony. Thank you, Puckett. And now, here's an editorial with our own Eve Ledoux, El Dijo Que Te Ama. Hola, y buenos tardes de los estudios STV. Claro! I just said hello and good evening from the STV studios. Of course! You don't think Eve has forgotten our Spanish lesson, do you? Good. Now, in the international world of modeling, it is very, very, very important to be familiar with a few key phrases. Remember, when you're in another country, you are that country's guest. So treat them nicely. Would you do that for Eve? Thank you. Congeniality is what makes the world go round. Now, let's begin. Habla usted inglés, which means, do you speak English? Now, this particular expression might be used with the persons of makeup or perhaps an adoring fan. I see lots of those, especially in Spain. Oh, sorry. The phrase also lets people know you're an American. Once you've established a rapport with the people who you'll be working for, you are ready for more complicated expressions. Are you ready? You seem very smart. Eve's ready to teach you. Good. Por favor, inveme mi equipaje. Hey, equipaje. Which means, please bring my luggage. Say it with the little exclamation points. The, oh, I'll show you next week, okay? In Spanish speaking countries, they call this person a niño. Say it. Niño. Good. Once in your room, you might find that the conditions are not up to the standards in which you are ready for. I, for example, 
saw a cockroach in my room while I was participating in the Guatemala, Gua excuse me, how could I, oh, Guatemala International Beauty Competition. Eve did not fret, but simply said, matalo, which means kill it. Now Eve hopes that you have enjoyed our precious, precious time together. It has been magnifico, hasn't it? Until next week. Adios, amigos. Muy bueno, Eva. And now, entertainment with our entertainment reporter, Kay Tell. Kay? Thanks, Hegemony. Well, the real news tonight, Billy Joel. Sing us a song, Bill. You are the piano man. Yes, that's right. Our beloved Billy will be playing the SAC right here in Chapel Hill. I've got tickets. You what? I've got tickets. I hate you. <laughs> well, kids, if you were not fortunate enough to get tickets to the Billy Joel concert, not to worry. Because that mustachioed music maker, Jimmy Buffet. Buffett. Jimmy Buffet. Buffett. <coughs> Buffett. Don't Jimmy touch me. Buffet Buffett. will be hitting Chapel Hill real soon. Buffett, I have front row tickets. I ought to know. That's all right. That's quite all right because the good neighbors haven't had an album out. They are not going to play the sack, so you can't get front row tickets. Well, who cares? But they have made a video, and I was there. <laughs> so here it is.
Well, I hope you like that one, Hegemony. Back to you. Thanks, Kay. In campus news, students who habitually sneak an occasional Coke and Fritos into the library face stiffer punishment. UNC librarians say the snacks attract bugs, which eat the leftovers and then munch on the books. And they say they're tired of the mess. In the future, students caught with food or drinks in the libraries may choose one of two options, death by electrocution or seating in the Duke section. Two students chose electrocution yesterday. And now here's weather with our own Sunny Hayes. Sunny? Thank you, Gemini. And now, this week's weather in review. Well, all it did was snow, 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 snow. And I got so tired of it, I, I flew to Kenya to find out what the other weather was like. But all it did there was rain, 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 rain. And so I came back. And it was beautiful here. So, um, well, I don't know whether for tomorrow yet, but I heard something about a stationary front. What, what's on the back? Well, I don't know. When I find out, I'll tell you. And now back to you, Himaj. Jimon, Haman, Himaj, Jiminy. Thank you, Sonny. You drip. And now a special profile of a new campus group. Like a virgin, Sally Forth was there. The UNC campus may be experiencing yet another type of student activism. This activism not occurring in shanties or on the steps of South Building. Rather, these activists will be fighting their struggles within the bedrooms of UNC. We aren't asking for any special favors. We only want to be understood. We want to be recognized. More than that, we want to get laid. CGLA funding has been questioned by some individuals for the past few years. Another group, Straits Who Wait, was formed in opposition to the CGLA, claiming that their sexual orientation needs to be recognized as well. This has sparked the formation of yet another group called Virgins Tired of Waiting, or VETO. Co-presidents Bill Wankner and Steve Ledoux claim that there are a lot of virgins who are saying no to celibacy and yes to wild animal sex. It's about time that someone come out and make a statement. There are a lot of people who hope and dream of having sex but never do. It's the pain that we live with every day. Some people simply cannot understand. A lot of people say that you formed this group merely to counteract straights who wait, and that is your only intention. What are your comments? Let me just say that I think straights who wait are the most sick bunch of disgusting perverts I've ever Bill. seen. Bill! He didn't mean that, really. He's just a little frustrated. Perpetual frustration is one of the mental problems that sex star virgins have. That's one of the reasons we formed this group. We want to educate the public through our pro various programs and also through our literature. Like DTH Personals. Bill, don't you have the newsletter to type up? Yeah, right. We're not just educational, we're also a support group. Hi, I'm Mark, and I'm going to be your leader for this special guided meditation. Now, I want everyone to close your eyes, okay? Close them. Got your eyes closed? Now imagine you're on a beach, and it's a quiet beach. It's a very peaceful beach. Are you there? And the only thing that you hear is the gentle lapping of the waves as they caress the sand. Do you hear that? It's a sweet sound. Now you're walking down the beach, and you come across a beach house. Yes, and you enter this beach house. And the only sound you hear is the sound of frenetic moaning and groaning. You are trapped in a pleasure pit. And you try to get out, but you can't get out. You are surrounded by sex-crazed people, sex-crazed girls. And you are suddenly approached by Alzania, the queen of the slave chicks who grabs your collar and she says to you, you're really hot, aren't you? You want to make it, don't you? You're burning. You're melting. Well, I think that the guided meditations are important because they can help these guys, like, get in touch with their inner selves. And if they can get in touch with their inner selves, then maybe, like, it'll help them get some, you know, you know. 
While veto is controversial, several student leaders seem to favor the creation of this group. It's a great organization, but I don't really understand why they need funding, because in Chapel Hill it seems like you can get most everything you want for free around here. So we'll see what happens. Personally, I think they should get about a uh, $20 per student increase in student fees so that, so that this organization can exist. But like I said, if I were on the Student Congress, I couldn't vote. Now, if I'm not mistaken, going on TV, so. <laughs> wait, no, you got to let me finish. We got to clear something up here. If I'm not mistaken, Mr. Bill Wagner said that he was president of the organization. Are you trying to overthrow Mr. Wagner? I, I happen to know for a fact that uh, he is not really eligible for uh, virgins who are tired of waiting because uh, <laughs> he was he was actually seen walking into Parker Dormitory at once about 2:30 uh, in the morning with uh, a couple of women whose uh, moral fiber was somewhat under question. So I I would have to disqualify him from the group. Yes. There's a rumor that you're unfit to hold this position. What do you have to say about this? Uh, they were my sisters. That's just a vicious rumor. Virgins tired of waiting. Do they really want to wait, or do their mothers make them? For What's News, I'm Sally Forth. Thank you, Sally. And remember, when you wish upon a star, your dreams really do come true. I'm Hegemony Cricket for What's News. Say it, Malone. Oh, please, call me Hoopsie. Daddy always did. Of course, Hoopsie. Why don't we move on to the main uh, item on the agenda, the reason we took over the school in the first place. Yes, we're going to get the good seats for the Carolina K-A-R-O-L-I-N-A. -A. Let's go! Basketball games. Any suggestions? I say we all strike a thoughtful pose and do something like this. Hmm. 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 That's enough now. I must admit, I have solved the problem. Way to go, Biff. How so? Well, simple. I approached the UNK alumni and persuaded them to give us their tickets. Why, did you threaten to shoot them? No, something much more effective. I simply threatened to change all the school records to show that they were all Zeta size. Congrats, Biff. And here are the tickets. Ooh! Oh, hoopsie, thank you. Well, if that's what you get for being an, a traitor, it does have its advantages, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Just, Thank you, Hootsie Oh, no, yes. Just think of all the Carolina, that's K-A-R-O-L-I-N-A. -A. Let's go! The students suffering from the nosebleed seats. Oh, you know, these calls for an evil laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that's enough. Uh, shall we? I move that we all call our daddies and ask for more money. Aye! Aye. It's unanimous. Now, if that's all, I think we can adjourn. Oops. A sealed envelope just came for you from Duke High Command. Thank you. What is it? Some messages from High Command. They've just had Dean Smith deported to ECU to be re-educated. Oh, no! But without Dean, Carolina basketball will fall apart. K-A-R-O-L-I-N-A. Why? Wait, it says here that they're going to send us a replacement coach. Who? Let's see. And your replacement coach will be Carolina's K A R O L I N A. Let's go! Jim Valvano. Oh, no! Oh. Oh, that is horrible. Oh, whoopsie! <laughs> Brian, we've got to stop meeting this way. But, Swoozy, it's the only way, safe way. Besides, we need to find out what you know about the Blue Meanies. Well, the only thing I learned is that they have money, and lots of it. Hmm. Yeah, but what do they really want? What to really get at them? What gets their stinking blue blood flowing? BMWs? Tax-deferred annuities? Carolina with a K, women? What? Um, um, they like expensive clothes. Uh, well, wait a minute, wait, it's coming, it's coming. Brian, during a meeting. No, Swoozy, an idea, I got an idea. We'll open up a store, an L.L. Beans. That'll get at them, they can't resist. Then what? What if, no, it'll never work. 
What? What if we sell only clothes that are Carolina with a K blue? It'll be too much for their little brains to handle. Yeah, but that's not enough. I know, a 100% polyester clothes. Polyester? Oh no! Yeah, it just might work. It's a sacrifice, but it's the only way to keep truth, justice, and the D Dean Smith way. <laughs> Game. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. alright. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at all this fine apparel they have in here. Wow, this is great. Oh, yeah. This is great. Oh, my. What's this in there, Bean? Ha ha, you do Bean! I've got you now! Oh! 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 Oh!